What's up guys, Jacob here with Whisker Whisper Fishing. I'll be the first to tell you I'm fairly new to the sulgur and walleye sulgai type fishing, but I managed to catch a few today. That is until they raised the water levels, kind of pushed me out of there. I would have probably caught a little bit more. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. fish on I had to finesse it a little bit and add a couple ounce sinker I've got the spoon on here right now and I was just slowly dragging that spoon across the bottom there bounced off a few rocks and then this happened. Not exactly a targeted species, but there's a smallmouth buffalo, I believe is what he is. Probably about seven, eight pounds. Toss him back out there. Magically, he survived. He smacked his head off them rocks. And you can see these rocks aren't exactly dry. You can barely walk on them, but I wanted to come down here and land him. So right here's what we're using. This is an ounce and a half. I put a swivel in here with a bead, almost like a uh, Carolina rig. I got a little spoon here. And we're just gonna drag it across the bottom because that's where I'm getting most of the hits at. Dragging it across the bottom like this, you can feel just about every snag climbing over rocks. And every once in a while you'll lose your stuff because you'll get caught onto them. There we go. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Finally got one here. Look at the size of the bait and then the size of the fish there. So there's our first one right there and that is a uh, sulgur. It's got some spots up here on its dorsal fin. And uh, look at the teeth on these fellas. We're after a lot bigger, obviously. Uh, he's a toothy guy. Right there came on a, a little bit different of a uh, lead spoon here. A little more flashy. I lost the other one in the rocks. And uh, I was gonna make this one actually my last one. Got one. I made the switch to a, a green swimming grub because I see the guys on the low wall there catching a bunch of sulgur and walleye on them. And it did not take very long at all to catch a pretty nice one. All right, guys, check this out. I got him by the gripper so I could show you these, uh, that going. These teeth here. That's a better example right there of the teeth. Nice little uh, 17, 18 incher. Put them back out there. So that right there is about the color they're hitting. <laughs> There we go. 
just amazing these guys just hit right off the wall. Oh, that was a big one he popped off to. Say it's probably a soldier again. Nobody saw you hop the bass head, but you, you snagged that one in there. Yeah, I got him in the side. Yeah, that, that, that's soft. Sauger. No, that's the wall. I got a white tip on the That's Sauger. Oh. That's about that's about average size. Yeah, that's a actually a bigger one than the ones I caught earlier. Uh top of the door thing I'm having to say. A little bit bigger. Number three. All right, so I'm on all fours trying to make my way down these rocks. A little bit more slack water. It was hard to get my base down to the bottom over there. So now we, uh, we're we gonna try going down a little bit and work this grub, which has been catching most of the fish I've caught, which is not a whole lot at all. All right, I was reeling in and I thought I had hit a rock. Oh, and I got cut off lost it that was a good fish all right so they got all the rollers off over here one roller on here it's causing all this water to circulate back towards this wall and it's getting really choppy and uh pulling my uh spoon or whatever i'm using back towards that one over there so i think i'm gonna call it a trip most of the better fish i think got off but we did catch a, a few fish i hope you guys enjoyed the video be sure to subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching catch you in the next one